Ethiopia has begun operating the first space observatory in East Africa to try and promote astronomy. The country's Space Science Society recently unveiled two telescopes on the outskirts of the uh, capital Addis Ababa at a cost of nearly $4 million. It also aims to open up a second observatory in the tourist town of Lalibela in the north. Emmanuel Ligunza has more. The new face of Ethiopia's ambitious space program. It took just three years to put up these two telescopes at a cost of less than four million US dollars. The observatory, which is partly funded by a wealthy Ethiopian Saudi businessman, is located around 20 kilometers from the capital on top of the lush, scenic and total mountains. Another observatory is already under construction 800 kilometers away. This project assists us Ethiopia's science and technology transformation and to change the current traditional agriculture to the industrial uh, sector. And the other thing is to inspire young into science and technology. And if you commit it, African can do his own indigenous science. These are the first images captured by two telescopes here at Tentoto. But it is only the beginning of what Ethiopia's space society says is an exciting future. We are now about 10,200 feet above sea level. And from these two telescopes, Ethiopia is looking into the future. It hopes that in the next five years, it will have launched a satellite into space, not just for research, but also to boost its economic development. The Space Science Society has inspired a new generation of scientists in Ethiopia. Astronomy courses are now being taught in universities, and this observatory hosts 30 graduate students. Soon, it will be open to other African students. Space science clubs have also been introduced in schools and universities across the country. It is important for school students to know about space science, is because space science is the future, uh, and we can use many applications, space application, like air observation, communication, uh, weather forecasting, eye culture, medicine, you can name it. There is a control room. To the but the country's scientists and politicians want to go much further to see how they can use space research to transform the development prospects of a nation perhaps best known in the West for famine and conflict. Imanoli Gunza, BBC News, 